Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, today, giving you a bit of an update on my uh, my Vista Pick build of the testing of the new frame that can uh, withstand a lot more punishment than the uh, standard mono frame. As you can see from my previous video, it's flying. It flies really good. All of that was done on stock default uh, PIDs and filters, so I, hadn't, I didn't even bother touching the PIDs because I was just having too much fun flying it, um, and it wasn't uh, wasn't flying perfectly, as you would expect, um, it, but it flew good enough for me to just enjoy it. <laughs> I went back out in the field, I actually went to my, to a little wood, wooded, little woodland spot uh, local to me and um, set up a little bit of a track and was whizzing around the track and yeah it was taking loads of hits and I actually broke the first prop um, so I'll play this whole crash reel um, and show you all the crashes that I've done in it so far <laughs> damage being that this prop broke and these are all a little bit bat battered up now although they would probably still fly all right other than the props obviously you can see it's in pieces the uh, cheap uh, anchored special board the JHC F411 um, that died and that last crash there uh, against the tree I mean it was a full-on full head-on crash in into a tree uh, the ESC still powers up but I don't get the final beeps and it buzzes like hell so the 5 volt is bust or it's it's knackered I, I'm not I'm not into fixing electronics especially when they only cost um, 20 25 30 pounds to replace I've ordered another one off Bankard the uh, Bankard summer sale is out on now so I got a little bit more of a discount I think it only cost me 26 pounds for one of these um, but while I'm waiting for that to come on the boat I have picked up a beta FPV V3 so that I can do MSP and it's got black box as well so I can finally get some black box recording from uh, from one from these little micros which I've been really keen to see because they do fly really well but I'm not going to be able to tune the pit, uh, the filters as easily or as, as well as I would have wanted to uh, without having black box really I broke that in the crash and the TPU broke uh, the other thing I don't like about having to mount the Vista this way like the last one is that the M1.6 bolts you can't, I can't seem to find any in hardened steel so I'm having to use A2 steel which it's okay but um, after a, quite a lot of crashing they do end up becoming quite bent so you have to replace them so I'm hopefully going to find something a bit better than that but um, yeah uh, maybe I'd, I've just ordered some but they're going to take a while to come so hopefully uh, hopefully they're gonna work and not bend as easily so let me just uh, pop off and fit this new flight controller there we go so <clears throat> here's my newly rebuilt Vista pick whatever we're gonna call it uh, have actually come up with a name for this new frame but uh, yeah I'll do that in another video I think um, so I have modified the Vista Pick mount slightly, so now it's got these little um, bumpers, I guess you could call them. Uh, just a little bit of extra TPU there, because that's where these mounts seem to be breaking, um, and it's also where the printer has trouble printing when it starts doing this line across here. You see here, I couldn't quite get it perfect even on this one. But that just means that that's just going to strengthen that up so all the hits that the camera takes it's not just going to rip the top straight off and rip your, ca your cable apart um, <clears throat> other than that it's pretty much the same as the last one uh, I've given up on using M2 bolts through the frame uh, they just come loose and you need a special driver to do them up 
which nobody will have. So they're going to be really impractical. They're really weak as well because you can't get them in hard, proper hardened steel, or at least you, I couldn't find any countersunk M2 in hardened steel. So uh, going back to M3, it adds one and a half grams, but it actually means that you can tighten these up. They stay tight and they don't bend because they're 10 9 hardened steel. Um, the little gap between the uh, braces on the bottom there is perfect for fitting a little bit of uh, grip. Yeah, so I rebuilt this and actually had a full session yesterday on the uh, on, on the track going up against 5 inches. Unfortunately in a crash I broke the uh, crossfire signal cable there off uh, and I don't have a TS-100 so <laughs> and my mate who has a TS-100 wasn't flying with us so uh, couldn't do any, couldn't repair it so I had to go on to uh, my other analog ones but they were still fun, they did some good testing and just uh, yeah and I am really loving this setup, it's going to have so many different uses for so many different people uh, I find that with the camera angle all the way down been doing some fun exploring and finding little places that I haven't seen before in in my spots like going in between all the trees in 50 megabit mode that's amazing so yeah the development of this frame has got to the stage now where I've gone ahead and ordered a little a small batch of them to be made so I'm going to be starting a round of public testing of this frame in about three or four weeks and anyone who wants to uh, help me test this frame a bit further because I, I don't release frames unless I've tested them thoroughly and put them really through their paces and as you know I've only been flying this thing for about a month so that's not long enough for me. I'm going to put together some little packages, uh, some little test packages so you can buy the frame with the Vista pick mount and all the hardware you need um, other than the Vista and your components and there'll be an analog pack for building one up like uh, like the analog one which I don't have right here right now so uh, but yeah I'll do another little separate video for that anyway I think so and announce the name and stuff um, maybe I'll do a bit of a giveaway as well so one person can test for free uh, I think that might be quite cool so all right stay tuned guys Laters.